everybody, this is Jennifer from Dental Soaps and today I am going to show you some more melt and pour magic. We're going to be making sugar scrubs with lilac. So if you've been outside and your lilac's in bloom and you want to enjoy that perfume or if you just want some of that in your bathroom, you can visit me in my store and I'll hook you up. Today we're going to be making uh, the next of the Mother's Day line sugar scrubs, the lilac. Lilac, lilac. It is gorgeous, it is beautiful, and we've used a, a whole bunch of different sugars from all over the place. So come and watch me make it, and then go into my store and you can get yourself a bar if you want, or you can head over to your own soapy kitchen and recreate it for yourself. Mmm, it smells so good. Um, love it, love it, love it. I think this is one of my favorite times of year when summer is almost here. It's just so close. And here on the island in Victoria, we always have that cool breeze, so it always feels like springtime, especially if you head over to the beach. So um, stay tuned for more Sophie treats, and this is definitely Melt and Pour Magic. So anybody can do it, um, and it's just fantastic. spring um, we're going to be starting with nature's garden lilac um, it smells amazing I'm also going to be using this berries uh, water dispersible amethyst that I've um, put in a glycerin if you want to learn how to do that just go to the video um, I'll put a link in the description box or you can search it on how to make your own liquid dyes because they're a lot easier to use in this kind of a product so let's measure out um, three, six, nine, ten. about, we've got a kilogram of white here, but I'm not going to use all white. I'm going to mix it with my olive oil. So I've got an olive oil and I've got a goat's milk. This is actually my coconut. This is not goat's milk. Oh, uh, olive oil and coconut soap. So I'm going to do half and half and I'm going to cut it into cubes because that makes it easier. To, um, to melt. So this is just a little bit of um, glycerin that's come out of my, as it sat, out of the, uh, it's kind of like bloom you get from chocolate. Um, same thing happens with glycerin soap. Sometimes. need about a kilogram or two pounds almost two pounds there take a little bit of this from another bar of soap that can be used up and we got two pounds all right we'll use the rest of that in another project all right so we're going to rebatch a little bit of a of a bar i didn't i wasn't happy with all right so i'm going to chop these up now and we'll melt them down and color them and set them and turn them into something beautiful. And we're going to use some of this dark brown sugar um, from Asia. I had a picture of a rose on it, so check out that. It's really, really strongly scented. It's got a lot of molasses in it. It's a really dark brown color so we're not going to use a lot of it um, and then we're also going to use again my maple sugar and white sugar and get my hands again third time oh, this many minutes i've got some other sugars to show you so i went to the grocery store here in victoria and i picked up a few more sugars and there's some fun things at my local grocery store. We've got some palm sugars and just coconut sugar. You could use that too. So I can chop these up and use them as a decoration. But my favorite, and this, this stuff tastes amazing. Um, this, this palm sugar is just amazing. Um, these though, these are little round cubes. 
I've used the, um, I think this is from India, the Indian sugar, um, on the back on the last batch, but they were a little scratchy. And of course these are scratchy, so I didn't want to use them, but this is nice and smooth. So we're going to put one of these on the back of each of them, just to mark them as a sugar scrub, which is really, really cool because they're almost like a crystal. I call them lilac crystal soaps. Crystal sugar scrubs. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Crystal sugar scrub. Hmm, maybe, 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 maybe. All right, so when I come back, we will start mixing. Um, or actually, I'm just going to set these over here. And I'm going to start chopping. I'm just put my molds over there. Put down a cloth so you can see what I'm doing. All righty. Move things over. Now we're situated. Where's that knife? My ancient knife. So yeah, you just need to cut it up into little chunks. Smaller than that. I usually the grid on mine. I use that. That works. Ice cube size is fine. You don't have to get them too small. You just have to get them smaller. Chop them like you would some carrots or some kind of evenly wire that I'm redoing. And I'm mixing the white and the clear because I have a lot of clear soap, but I don't have a lot of white. And I don't want to add titanium dioxide because it's just nicer when you get it when it's from the from the distributor. Uh, just lovely stuff. So nice. Just beautiful. I have been working with ASMR videos, guys, so don't be too disappointed in me when you see my first <laughs> tries at it. I think it's the neatest, coolest concept that you could help someone else to calm down and rest or come out of a you know, a panic attack or whatever, just by the sound of your voice, that whisper. Um, so there will be some soaping. I did, let's see, what did I do? I think I did a hot process one. I'll have to find it. So that's just bloom. That's just glycerin. It's nothing. It's not mold. It's just glycerin that's come out. And that's what your soap will look like if you don't like cover it. This is not a low sweat. It's actually not too bad. That other bar got wet. That's why it was wet on the way it was white on the top. It's just water, a little extra water. Once we melt it down, it'll be fine. That's the best part about melt and pour is you can melt and pour it again if you don't like what you got. It's pretty cool. So I will nuke this for about a minute at a time. Um, you don't want to overdo it. And I'm going to add an equal portion of sugar. So um, this is going to be quite full. Um, hopefully I'll have enough. What's going on here? They were so popular um, and they're so much fun to use. I just keep, I have to have one in my tub now all the time um, in my shower. Um, they're just nice scrubby and they're rinses away. You don't end up sticky. I don't know why people are worried about sugar scrubs. They're awesome and it's good for your skin. So I'll be right back when this is melted. All right, so it's got some big lumps in there still, but it's very hot. So we're going to let it continue to melt itself and I'm going to set it aside and chop up some of these other sugars. Now, I don't want to get my hands all sticky, so I'm going to put on some gloves. Um, just hold on. It's one thing to chop this soap, it's another when you get it all, you know, it's wet. You don't want to get any, get in there with your hands. So we're going to mush up some of this. So I'm going to use a sieve and I've got a bowl here for the sugar. So we're going to start 
Getting our sugar ready. We want it to... Hmm. Well, this stuff is not breaking up, so I'm going to have to... I'm going to do that by hand, which means I'll have a few little scrubbies probably in there. Measure out a kilogram. This of sugar, and sometimes I use a little bit more. It just depends on, you know. This is a really, really yummy sugar. I really like it. I'm going to use some of this palm sugar as well. This is cane sugar. Brown sugar, and then this is the palm sugar. This stuff is, ooh, awesome sauce. I use this one when I'm making my um, kefir. It's my water kefir. This one is a perfect size for like slowly dissolving my. Uh, my goodies in, so I'm just going to chop this up. The soap knife. So that's not going to be too hard, but it'll give some some um, nice texture to the soap. Some interest, but it's certainly not going to scratch you. Let's do that for another project. So one of those. And hmm. I think we'll just go with regular sugar for the rest. Get my scale. Now you need to keep stirring over here and keeping an eye on this because it will start to set up. It sets up pretty quick. But we don't want any big lumps in there while we're doing it. So I'm going to make sure those are all gone. We're going to have to heat it up again, most likely. I'm going to go ahead and add my sugars. Hmm, I haven't added my scent yet, so I don't know. This should just be enough for this, but if it's not, I don't want to scent the whole thing. Hmm, 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 what to do, what to do. I'm going to get me a another bucket. Hold on. All right, so I'm just going to put like a quarter of that in there in the lumps. I'm going to keep that. To this, we're going to add the lilac fragrance, a couple of ounces, and my lovely amethyst. This is my favorite, favorite color. In bath bombs. Just, I love purple. Purple is just, it's going to be a nice, nice color. So I kind of went crazy with that, but it should be fine. See how pretty that is? What a pretty color. Oh, the smell is good too. Oh yeah, that's going to be popular. 
All right, so I'm just gonna give this a stir as well so we can get the same sugars in each batch. Palm sugar and the cane sugar and the beet sugar all together. Okay. So we're going to use about half of this. Or more than half. It's all tightening up. This is the reason I've got my gloves on. Now it'll only take 30 seconds or so to melt this down again so that it's ready to pour. I will be right back. It doesn't look like a beautiful sugar, sugar shrub. Okay, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're doing lots of messy soap in today. <laughs> okay, that is glorious. You have no idea how wonderful that smells. Oh, these are gonna be so amazing. I hope I get one too. Well, I'll be saving all the little scrapey scrapies just for me. So let's start pouring them into the molds. See if I can do it without overflowing like I did the last time. Oops, it's a big chunk. These are just absolutely amazing. Wow. Just the right purple, too. I like that. Okay. These are going to be so shiny and so pretty. Okay. Oops. I'm working under the shelf as it's a little bit. I've got an uneven surface here, which was perfect. And I think there's going to be one for me too. Oh, the last couple bars are going to have lots of chunks. <laughs> and it looks like we get one more bar right here, just for me. That's what I'm saying anyway. Hopefully I can try it out tonight. I just love my sugar scrubs, guys. You've got to try these. Either got to make them yourself or go to my shop and get one and try it because they're just absolutely the most decadent treat that you literally put on your thighs and you don't regret it. Oh my gosh. So amazing. Now, this isn't going to be a pretty bar, but it's going to be mine. All mine. Oh, in fact, I think I've got Where's my scraper. I'm going to scrapey scrapey right in front of you guys. I love getting every little bit. So we're going to scrape the spoon. This it's gonna really look like sugar. This one's gonna look like sugar. Like if you want them to look less polished, don't pour them while they're cold. I mean, don't pour them while they're hot. Wait for them to get cold and then smash them in your molds, and you'll get all that sugary look. Like, see how you see the sugary look? This one's gonna have that sugary look because it's been mashed in. The first ones I made, I didn't know that I could heat it up more. Figured it was just really thick because it was really thick, right? But no, you can actually 
melt them down and make them polished or have them look like a literal hunk of sugar like like this palm sugar like they'll look like a chunk of sugar they're kind of cool that way but uh, I don't know, I'm tired of all the packaging. I don't want a lot of packaging. So when I can make a product without any packaging or for very little packaging, I am all for it. it means more people can afford my products and I'm doing something good for the environment too. Like literally I'm scraping every little, can you see that? Every little tiny. Something cathartic about it, it's just cleansing. Get every little bit of that yummy, yummy goodness. I'm getting it into a usable form. Um, even if it's just for me or my sisters. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just push that into the mold. And it's not gonna be very pretty, but it's gonna be totally awesome. Totally, totally, totally freaking awesome. So are these, yeah, they're soft enough. I'm going to try to put one of these little sparkly diamond sugar cubes in a few. Let's see what happens. I want it to kind of show, but I want it stuck in too. So... Still soft in the middle, just enough to get it in there. But if they don't want it in there, they can pull it out. It's not gonna scratch you. They look like like crystals. I think they're gorgeous. This is almost like a. This kind of reminds me of a. Um, the design reminds me of my one of my favorite stones. The. Um, Moonstone? Anyway. Pretty, pretty stuff. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So if you want it to have that sugar look, like this is totally not going to be shiny or anything. It's going to be opaque and matte and crystally looking when we pull it out of the molds. At least every other one that I've done this way has. You don't see why this would be any different. And I can trim up the back if I wanted it pretty, pretty. But sugar, sugar, right? Okay. So we had a request for lilac. Now we've got some lilac soap. All right, so we've got lilac and roses. And then I'm going to do... Um, a decadent black raspberry vanilla. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's undo these. I couldn't wait on you, and this one's the one I just pushed into the mold and, and made all weird. Let's see what the pretty pretties are going to turn out like. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's almost as fun as watching a cutting video. Look at that. You get a crystal. Sugar crystal in there. It'll be smooth. And these smell incredible. They're a little pinker than I thought they would be, but they're they're lilac colored. I'm going to gild them, of course, with some iridescent and maybe a little blue. I don't know. We'll see. In the bath. There's another one. So much fun. Oh, don't want to put that there. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And another one. These are lilac scented. Oh, they're so nice. Oh, oh. Approximately three ounces each. And just brilliant. I don't know if these would slice. Maybe I should try. The next Mountain Pour Magic, maybe I'll make some some sliced uh, sugar scrubs. These are 
like one of my favorite things to use. They are just so much fun. Oh my goodness. Can't wait to see feel how that that's nice and soft. It's not going to be hard. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice. And there we go. There you have it. Lilac sugar scrubs.